Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Monday, so I figured this is a good time to give an update on where things are in the Cobraverse. Here's where we're at with things. Jessica let it slip that he is apparently moving into a quote trailer. To me, she seems uh, way too manipulative to be the type of person to fall for the old bluff about already knowing it so that they confirm it for you. I just don't think she cares. Probably did it intentionally. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. He was just trying to be secretive about it. Oh, shout out to uh, Bite Size for helping me out with some sources for the stuff today. Hey, little puppy dog. What's going on? Holly's got to go outside. Classic. Okay, what else is going on? Uh, she's been live streaming a bunch and mostly deleting them. And <laughs> seems, seems like pretty upset with Josh in weird ways. Uh, is also making it more and more obvious that she is planning to take advantage of him financially and control his finances and e-beg for him. Recently deleted a live stream after rage quitting it after saying not only some homophobic slurs, but also racial. Wow, I, how she still has a channel, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess her time on the internet is mostly filler, a side gig until she settles in uh, and in her trad wife position for Josh controlling all of his finances. Anyway, Cat Snaps has some clips from a recent live stream that are relevant. I believe it starts with the trailer talk. I'm not moving into his trailer. I wouldn't be able to fit any of my stuff in there. I'm not moving. Mm, there you go. Now, the fact that she says that there's not enough space. Oh, did I click? The fact that she says there's not enough space makes me think Um, she's not talking about like a manufactured home in like the way you'd expect like maybe maybe he's gonna have a camper i don't know absolutely nothing wrong with either one i know people are speculating like maybe clint bought a plot of land and josh is gonna get a used camper and chill in there for a bit i don't know if his place actually is pretty small, uh, I'm thrilled at the idea of him literally having nowhere to, like, run off to in the middle of a stream. Like, kitchen right there, bathroom right there. But, uh, I don't know, not much point in speculating all that. But, yeah, she says, uh, I'm not moving into his trailer. Can't get all my stuff in there. Now, see, what she should have said is, I'm not discussing Josh's living situation or where he's moving to, but she didn't. Someone must have asked, are you moving into Josh's trailer? And she said, I'm not moving into his trailer. Don't worry, I'm sure Josh will forgive her. Also, uh, he uploaded finally trying the bratwurst uh, so much later than when he uploaded the actual cooking of it that I didn't get to include it, but in that video... He says something interesting. All right, we'll be getting into a new place at the end of the month. I'm not worried about that. In the meantime, let's just uh, show you. I will be getting into a new place at the end of the month. I'm not worried about that. Which is, of course, a little different from the two to three months that he said. Very sneaky, very sneaky. Or, I mean, maybe they gave him two to three months to find a place and he found one sooner than that i guess certainly possible i suppose but i also really thought that he didn't want to say when he's moving yeah here he is uh, really he probably just doesn't care now that it's all figured out but a uh, trailer at the end of the month coming in nice and now uh on to the finances here and i'm actually surprised like people have not bought him i'm not saying a brand new car i'm just actually surprised that people love him so much and have not bought him a car Surely there was no other intentions in her saying that, right? Surely that's not just a rephrasing of her saying, you guys should buy him a car if you love him so much. No, she was just pondering the idea. It wasn't a directive. I was actually thinking about that earlier because I, I would seriously teach him. He can fucking do it. Josh can drive. He drove Couch Chris's van and got pulled over. And uh, got a ticket for not having a license. Couch Chris sure is a real friend. Uh, he needs to keep his next address private. And, uh, mm. uh, she better not be trying to get his new fucking address out of him. Talking about Courtney, who had him on panel the other day. Courtney's trying to get his address. Bet she is. Well, I was gonna get his fucking. No, people were probably just saying shit. There. Well, I was gonna get his fucking bike fixed for him while I was there, but um, somebody who said they were going to resend three packages to Josh never resent them. Oh, I was gonna fix his bike, but someone else said that they were going to do it, so I, 
guys, I was really going to fix his bike for him. And she gets so mad here about someone not sending packages they said they were going to send, like as if she is owed them. They said they were also going to send um, a new inner tube and slime for Josh. They never fucking did that either. So I guess. Ugh, I can't believe they didn't follow through on sending you all that free stuff for no reason. In the end, they were a goddamn troll because they had plenty of time to get all of that out to Josh and I would have gotten his fucking bike fixed for Josh makes enough money to fix his bike himself and if the boy went live more often, he would make even more. Better not go live, boy. Better not fix that bike. Back on Cat Snap's video if that wasn't obvious by the way. So quick to call them a troll. The person was like, oh, I got some spare bike parts. I'll send them over. Where the fuck are they, troll? I use this, like, analogy a lot for <laughs> certain people, but uh, she strikes me as the type of person who, uh, if she was waiting for the bus and the bus was late, she would be really mad at the bus driver. Just whoever the most accessible person to blame is, just go straight for that. Mick Flurry machine broken, so she reports the uh, cashier to management. And I was, I was seriously fuck. I was pissed the few times we did go uh, to the post office and- Pissed. She's not pissed. have anything from that person, like, <laughs> it's like, whatever. Pissed. And hopefully if Josh really wanted to learn how to drive bad enough, hopefully he would not, I don't think Josh would risk putting his life or someone else's life in danger with that, so hopefully that would, like... Referring to him being an alcoholic? Make him, like, want to drink a little bit less, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think he could drive. Yeah, you know, I'm just surprised. Like, I could totally see him being like the type of person, like, I, three beers is not tipsy, guys. I don't know. I know I'm overly critical. I really don't like when people have several drinks and then drive, even though it seems like most people do in the world. Bought him, and, you know, just like a whatever kind of car. I can't like, believe no one's bought him a car yet. Gee. Because, uh, seriously, he could fucking learn. Passive-aggressive e-begging, putting out feelers. And I had no problem driving in Wyoming, except for, like, the wide-open spaces that, like, I don't know, it, like, does Good old Aaron. What is what is this e-begging by proxy going on here? Poor, <laughs> poor Josh is going to end up like Gypsy Rose. Gosh, you know, he just, yeah, he'd have to cut down on the drinking and stuff. But, you know, I, I don't know how he's going to feel about me wanting to manage his money. But, you know, it just makes me sad when he says he can't afford a car when yet he most certainly could afford a car. You know, he just doesn't want to buy one. Josh, you should get a car. Why, Josh, why don't you just get a car? No, I can't afford that. He, he doesn't He doesn't want one. He doesn't want to spend money on the car. Why would he? For what? What does he need a car for? He's saying he can't afford it to shut you up. <laughs> he can afford a car way faster than I ever could. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I, oh my God. I, think I'm, you know, I only want the best for Josh, but he really could afford one. I'm glad they included this because I literally had this clip pulled up from uh, all the way absurd, ready to go for this situation. Oh, and they literally pulled it from their channel as well. Wow, that's convenient. Keep paying for me and fucking Josh just goddamn clock tower dream house. As soon as we hit the goal, I'm swiping that off. I will take all the money. He is not going to be in charge of any of his clock tower. I will be in charge of all of that. Mm, she said it. She said when they have enough money for a clock towered mansion, she's taking it and she's in charge of it. What an what an evil evil woman. Oh, and yeah, literally the King Cobra JFS commented on that video. I would be in charge of my clock tower dream house. Thank you very much. All I have to say is my trolls are more than King Cobra's trolls will ever be. That's what's up. That's most definitely what's up. This was linked as a reply. And I would seriously make a OnlyFans just a fucking Cobra in front of all of y'all. Y'all would pay me $5,000 a piece to watch me fucking Cobra. Mm, oh yeah, you would. Every last one of you would pay me $5,000 to f*** his brains out. Yep. Yeah, you would. I don't care if I'm goth to him or of age or cisgendered or whatever the f*** he prefers in his life. I will f*** what? his brains out. And every last one of you will pay me 5000 bucks to watch it. What? I don't care if I'm of age. What? What? <laughs> what? You know, if Josh really wants an of-age goth girl, he should just check my comments section. Do I want kids? Yes. Mm. Oh, 
I don't even do OnlyFans. I have one, but there's nothing on there. Oh, he probably is fucking knocked out on my. Oh, let me guess. You just allow people to subscribe? I don't know. I don't know if Josh wants to do that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, there's that. By the way, oh my god, I listened through Cobra's Cantina again. Sorry to report, it's an absolute banger. The recording's horrible. His performance is horrible. I'm nearly positive he did not pay for the instrumental track for use. It's got no direction, but goddamn, if it ain't just so catchy. Been stuck in my head for days. It also sounds like he just recorded the instrumental track, like playing out of his speakers and used it that way. But I digress. Uh, yeah, here is the ending of a recent Queen Cobra stream. Yeah, I, I, I don't give myself enough credit when I've been told I'm ugly my whole life. How can I? Oh, you're ugly. And then, oh, you see the the thing. Oh, she has more tits than you. She's got this. She's got, yeah. Who, the blonde? I know I'm ugly, okay? I know I'm ugly. I've been told I'm ugly my whole life, so you're not going to change that. <laughs> so if you're trying to trigger me, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Josh has had everything handed to him his whole life. Josh had everything handed to him his whole life? He struggles every goddamn day for his entire life. I will never understand people that are jealous of him. The guy is doing so horribly. Like, how are you looking at King Cobra JFS and being like, some guys have all the luck? Josh has had everything handed to him his whole life. Pussy, what a, if these guys haven't come in for six years, okay. If I'm too ugly for Josh, okay, then that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm too ugly, okay. I know I'm ugly. I've been called my ugly. So you think Josh calling me not ugly or unotherwise? Oh, do you think that's really going to help my men no, men mental health? No, it's not. I know I'm ugly. I never asked to be born to be tortured i know i'm ugly so you can stay on your reddit and call me as ugly as you want you can i know i'm ugly that's why i don't have people vouching for me because i know how ugly i am you don't have people vouching for you because you're so mean and nasty all the time and manipulative so thank you all you'd so have to do is be nice Josh can still have who he wants of his dreams. I'm not really? the end all be all. I'm sure she Josh really means can that. Have what he wants at the end of the he day. He could have a goth blonde with the fishnets. So when I get off of here, I will call Amazon to pluck me out of all of his things. Okay. I don't know what that means. Like his accounts? Like her accounts or something? I'll call Amazon to pluck me out of all his things. The fuck is Amazon gonna do? <laughs> Okay, I know I'm not worthy. You people hate me. Okay, whatever. Oh, he can find it. Okay, then yeah, he can find it. Whether it's me or someone else, uh, good for him. I hope Josh has the best whatever it was like. He doesn't have to pick me. Mm. I would literally rather you reject me in my heart than my things. How many hours a day does this lady bathe? I don't understand. Like, how... How do you sit in a tub for so many hours every single day? What's wrong with her? So Josh can have who he wants. She have gills? Because he's handsome and you're not going to trigger me. So I hope Josh and whoever have their most beautiful babies. Thank mm. you. Mm. And whoever can have their most beautiful babies because it's not going to be me because you <laughs> have been trolling me my whole <laughs> live stream. So Josh and whoever, I hope you have the most beautiful babies. Congratulations. Cause That's where the um, homophobic and racial slurs were. But yeah, no one will vouch for you because you say you're ugly. Yeah. So obviously, it's not me because I'm too ugly. Thank you. Have a good day. Yep, yep. It's not anything to do with how you're just absolutely unredeemably horrible. Mm. At the Cobra's Cantina, looking for an of age blonde goth girl with the 
quadruple F in the fishnets to touch your wiener. Don't judd this lady on the till nose. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for where we're at in the timeline here, you know? That's all the recent updates. I haven't heard of anything else yet. Oh, the subreddit is banned. I just went to go check there. At least the Big Lee subreddit's still going strong. Uh, yeah. Damn. How about that? Well, see you for the next one. Bye-bye. At the Cobra's Cantina Looking for a woman to touch your wiener And she's looking for a man too Shots of tequila At the Cobra's Cantina The tastiest drink combos 